splashdown off the coast of Florida. Dragon has returned to planet Earth. It is the SpaceX Dragon capsule safely home from carrying cargo to the International Space Station. The six-day unmanned flight paves the way for the United States to resume manned missions. We brought together the people, the hardware and all the processes and procedures and, and gotten to see how they all, all work together. And, and that's very important on this uh, as, we, as we move towards putting people on board the vehicle. Ignition, lift off. Thousands watched the capsule blast off from Kennedy Space Center with its only occupant, a test dummy named Ripley. It's covered in sensors recording everything that astronauts will feel. During its docking with the ISS, astronauts carried out tests and checked out the new capsule's cabin, which one described as a business class experience, even setting up the ultimate space selfie. This is a good day, first day of a new era for the next generation of space explorers. NASA's astronauts have been riding Russian rockets since retiring the space shuttle fleet eight years ago. That's when it turned to big business, including SpaceX billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, to finance and develop the next generation of space hardware. And we want the things that are in science fiction novels and movies not to be science fiction forever. We want them to be real one day. The capsule's return to Earth was a series of tests. First, it had to undock from the ISS. And we have motion. Then survive one of its biggest challenges, descending through intense temperatures to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. You were looking at dragons streaking across the sky. It all went smoothly, from the capsule's heat shield to the parachute system slowing its fall. You really can't ask for a more picture-perfect <laughs> shot than that. NASA's counting on SpaceX and Boeing to start launching astronauts into space this year. There's still plenty of training and learning ahead, but SpaceX has proved its capsules can make it back to Earth in one piece. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.